welcome to another vlog. Part of me is like, should I sit here? Okay, perfect. I got back last night from Nantucket around midnight and this morning I've just been unpacking, cleaning, opening packages, things like that. Today's vlog is going to be a cozy at home vlog. We're gonna do part reading vlog, which is something I actually like, really wanna do on my channel now because I've been like on booktube real lately and I'm like, listen, I read so much and my friend they be talking about a book. So like, why am I not filming reading vlogs? Let me know what you all think about booktube and how you would feel about me just doing reading vlogs also. That would be like, selfishly in my mind, I'm like, for work, I stay at home and I read two books, three books in a day. Like, sign me up, you know what I mean? I'm pretending it's fall in my head. Like, that's just, it's, that's, it's what's happening. Nantucket was literally the best weekend ever. I'm just in like such a reading mood. I finished Hotel Nantucket last night. Really loved it. If you guys are not aware, my friends and I last weekend, this weekend, we went to Nantucket because we were inspired by Ellen Hildebrand's books, specifically Hotel Nantucket, but honestly, this was, this was booked, I think, even before Hotel Nantucket. And then we stayed at the Nantucket Hotel that it was like loosely like modeled after, and it was just so much fun. We met Ellen, it was just incredible. Before we get into reading and talking about books and stuff, I need to go get coffee, so we're gonna go on a little field trip, if you will. I think I'm gonna go to Cafe Duro this morning. Um, I think that's the vibe. iced matcha with one pump lavender i normally do peppermint they just didn't have any and then i just got breakfast it's so good cafe duro if y'all are in dallas on greenville cannot recommend enough it's also probably the cutest coffee shop i've ever been in like not even like city wise just in general so cute all right i'm home now i have my food also look at my cute new coasters i got these from keepsakes in dallas i'm sure you can also find them online Gonna eat my breakfast and then I'm gonna start my book. We are back and it is time to read. First, I wanted to give you guys a little update of what I've been reading lately. I lit some candles, there's coconut. I also have this Brooklyn Inn weighted blanket. This is not sponsored. It's just the best blanket ever. One, it's just cozy and cute. Two, if you ever are stressed or anxious or just need to calm down, a weighted blanket, I'm not kidding. I'll link this one below because it's literally the best thing ever. I bought it with my own money, I'm not sponsored. I just love it and it's the best blanket for reading okay okay let's go on my goodreads really quickly if y'all are ever looking to keep up with what i'm reading don't go follow my good coco she always says this follow my bookstagram ke book club i update every single book that i've read with a review i also post some reviews on tiktok and stuff but if you need like a comprehensive thing of like what i've read here's the thing i love goodreads i use it all the time they need a better interface and also it's so impossible every time i link my goodreads it like is the wrong link. It never, ever, ever works. My profile is Kinsey Elizabeth. I don't know if you can see that. That's my, that's my Goodreads thing. It's just annoying. So like I said, last night I finished the Hotel Nantucket. Reading that while in Nantucket and at the Nantucket Hotel was just a magical experience. I rated it four stars on Goodreads. I would maybe give it like a four, three, four, five. The way in which I rate my books doesn't necessarily make sense, but... It was good. I would definitely recommend it. I think it's one of those books that like most people will like. I read Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. I don't even know why I picked this up. I think maybe it was short or something. And I don't know, like I like some Christina Lauren. I think I do. I don't know if I've read it. I actually have read a good amount. I'm not like diehard is what I'm saying. And it was, it was a book that was like an easy read. Hazel was kind of annoying. Um, but I like weirdly liked her and I don't once I've read like another five or six books I probably won't even remember that one. I honestly couldn't even tell you that I read that right um, I read life will be the death of me by Chelsea Handler and I loved it I'm a huge Chelsea Handler fan. I hadn't read any like memoirs in a while So I decided I wanted to read that then I also read Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier, and I have to say, like, I love Jennifer Hillier, and she's actually my favorite thriller writer, but I just didn't like Things We Do in the Dark. I felt like the plot lines didn't really come together well. It was really all over the place. It felt like you're reading two different books, and then when it did come together, I just felt like it wasn't, wasn't seamless. Um, and I rated it like three stars. Like, I was, I just, I wasn't into it. But I love Little Secrets. That's my favorite thriller book ever. And there's so many. The Butcher even's really good. 
that one was, you know, whatever. I read A Flicker in the Dark, which is a Redheads pick, and I loved that book. I thought it was so good, such a good thriller. Really got me back into like the swing of thrillers, and I loved it. I read the Crossing the Line and Breaking the Rules series by Lucy Score. I thought the first book was actually just really bad. I didn't like it at all. For whatever reason, I read number two because it left you on such a cliffhanger that I was like, I need to read number two, and I actually really liked the second book even though that one was the weird one with a really weird plot line. Like, it, it reminded me almost of, if you guys have watched Nashville, when um, Juliet Barnes, Juliet Barnes, oh my God, that's like literally my favorite show. The second Lucy Score book, The Breaking the Rules, has a very weird plot line that I would actually compare to when Juliet Barnes joins like a cult in Nashville. It was very weird. It was just odd, like a very weird thing, even though it's not a cult. It was kind of like so out of left field, but I actually really liked that one. Um, and this is the last one I'll talk about because I know I've talked about these before. I also read Carrie Soto's Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I got an advanced copy, definitely a must read. I thought it was really good. Um, I love Seven Husbands, didn't love um, Daisy Jones, didn't love Mallory Rising. I like her earlier, like romance novels a lot actually. Um, Carrie Soto's back was good. Very unique read. I'm at 39 of 60 books. I'm two books ahead of schedule. And I'm right now, hopefully today, I'm going to finish Jeanette McCurdy's memoir, which if you guys have seen all the press for it, it's really crazy. It's titled, I'm Glad My Mom Died, which is, you know, a very, um, like, striking title. I'm at 31%. It's kind of like, weirdly, a heavy book. I don't know, like, I'm a very fast reader and normally I read things pretty quickly and I've kind of been like, reading slower. Also, I only have like two books left of Colleen Hoover's that I haven't read and they are in the Maybe Someday series. I read Maybe Someday and I didn't love it, so I didn't read the next two. I thought it was like a very odd book, but I want to like film a video of like, I read all the books and like, here's my ranking. Um, and so I need to read those books. So I'm also probably gonna read those, we'll see. But um, we're getting we're getting started. I love this book, It's this book vlog, it's so fun. Before I start reading, I had to put a playlist on it. I've been listening all morning to Taylor Swift Autumn Vibes, but I do have certain playlists that I'll listen to when I'm reading on planes mainly, and not really at home. I'm kind of feeling this one today. I have two, this is my second favorite, but this one's the one that's up, so. Just put it on my speaker, and we're good. Lunch. I have groceries coming later today and I'm gonna make ramen, which I'm really excited for. This book is crazy. I don't want to like spoil it, but I feel like because it's on every news article ever, it's like kind of okay because obviously it's on every news article ever. I feel like a lot of the information's out there. I just got to the part where Joe broke up with this girlfriend of five years for her and she's very, very inexperienced. It's actually the relationship that she has with her mom is really 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 crazy and just the things in life that she like has no idea what they are it's it's wild to read like this is one of the best I think celebrity memoirs I've ever read it's so good so far it's almost like she's like seven years old but in like an adult body and her mother is like so dependent on her it's just like really crazy so anyways, I ordered some food. I'm gonna have lunch and then get back to reading. I really need coffee. I was just really kidding myself with that matcha earlier. Love matcha, but like it doesn't give you energy. I mean it does, but not like coffee does, obviously. I've been ordering wraps for lunch. I feel like I don't think I'm being this big. Awesome, amazing, love that. And then I always get sweet potato fries and that's my lunch today. Once I eat this, I'll get back to reading. This book is so good. about 5% left, so I'm gonna finish the book. It is so good. I just finished the book, it's about 3 p.m. now, and it was so good. Okay, I feel like 
memoirs are very personal because it really just depends on like how much you had invested into that person. Not always, but I think like obviously Jessica Simpson, I like grew up, all my cousins were obsessed with her. We met her, like I was obsessed. Also the book was just really good. And there are definitely memoirs that I've read of people that I wasn't like super invested in, like Demi Moore and stuff that I loved. And same with this, like honestly, I wasn't like obsessed with Jeanette McCurdy. I watched iCarly growing up. Um, I never watched like, Sam and Cat or anything, but that was like my era, you know what I mean? I just want to say it was so good. It was well written, but it didn't like, I think her tone of voice was just like very apparent. It was so good. I looked on Goodreads and I went to go rate it at five stars. It's currently 4.74, which is crazy. Like that is maybe that is actually the highest Goodreads score I think I've ever seen. Like a 4.3 is insane. So 4.74 and like 12,000 ratings wild. I don't know if I'm supposed to like, Okay, like in a true booktube vlog where I'm reading all day, I'm reading different books, I think I'm like maybe supposed to, I don't know if it's supposed to spoil things, is what I'm saying. What I found the most fascinating was her, obviously her relationship with her mother. Um, I loved that her and Miranda were so close. I understood her not wanting to do the iCarly reboot. I had no idea she had a country little stent, like at all, country career. It, the book was just obviously so about her mom and the title is so, brutal honestly but when you read it you understand why and it was just so so crazy anyways i loved it i'm gonna put the groceries away and i need to make a little bit of an iced coffee because i'm very you know sleepy i've been laying around all day All right, y'all, we are getting started cooking. I'm making a lot of ramen for the week. Hopefully I like this recipe. I already soft boiled eggs. I have some green onions, mushrooms, carrots, everything's cut up and pretty much ready. This is what I've been learning in my cooking classes. I need everything out and measured. The reason I don't have these like cut up and stuff is because I don't measure this stuff so it like, wouldn't really make a difference. Um, but yeah, this is what I have. I'm gonna make some healthy ramen like healthy, I mean whatever, just the recipe that I found online. I'll keep you guys posted, I have pork. So I feel like I like that in my ramen better than chicken, but I don't really know. made my first ramen. It looks and smells incredible. So I used a lot of carrots, mushrooms, obviously just like instant ramen, but without the like seasoning packs. I did bone broth, kale. Um, I also just did like soy sauce, sesame seed oil, all that stuff. Um, I'm putting it as like a reel and a TikTok on my pages, but on my pages, like I sound 40. It looks beautiful. It's kind of like the perfect cozy recipe. I love cooking in the fall, but I like don't really love cooking in the summer because I like making soups, I like making pastas. That's like the stuff that I like cooking. I don't really like making like salmon. It's like not that fun to me. If you feel like someone's behind me, but it's just the smoke. So anyways, I feel like this is like a good summer swap while it's still really hot out. But, oh my god, it smells like so good. I also made my first soft boiled egg, so we're gonna see if it actually works. I'm gonna try here, guys. We will see. Oh, nope, hard boiled. Well, love that for me. I feel like it's kinda there. You have to do it for like just six minutes, and I put a timer on, so I'm confused. This one, mm -mm. hard boiled. Not soft boiled, but we'll get there. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, could be better. You know what I mean? All right, y'all, here is my homemade ramen. I actually think it looks incredible. It smells very good. 
I don't like a ton of liquid on my ramen because it just gets messy. So that's why it looks more like this. Instead of too much, I always put in like the least amount, but it looks incredible. All right, guys, I'm in lounge clothes. It is 6 p.m. and I'm pretty much winding down for the night, my Monday nights. My bedtime is like 8 p.m. Like it's just my most ideal thing. I got a package from Mirad. Is that how you say it? I've never said it out loud. I hope so. Anyways, I just got some products from them that I'm going to try out. I'm really excited. I haven't been able to try out that many products from them. And I'm actually out of the stuff I've been using. So I'm going to try this cleanser and then I'm going to do a little lip space mask and then use the rest of it. In a little book news. I got some comments from y'all saying that Ashley Flowers is a book coming out tomorrow and that you guys are requesting me to read it and then review. And at first I was like, well, I don't watch Crime Junkie, but sure. And then I looked it up and I think she actually wrote a thriller, which is absolutely genius for her. Um, so I will definitely be picking that up. I don't know if I want to read the last two books of the Maybe Someday series. Because if you let me start washing my face one sec. Ooh. Moving on to loops. So I don't know if I want to read those last two books in the series. I actually think there's one more book I haven't read that is like she's a part of. Like I think each author got a different chapter or something like that. It's not like fully going anywhere, which is interesting. Um, I'm not like super. I just, I don't know, but hear me out. On one hand, I want to be that bitch that's like, yes, I've, re I've read every Colleen Hoover book. On the other hand, um, I didn't like the first one and I don't want two of those to be on my KE book club Instagram. And then people think I'm like into those books and get the wrong idea of the books that I read. You know what I mean? But it is kind of for like a social experiment. But I could also rate the books just based off of that series and just like rate them all together. I don't know, part of me wants to give it a fair chance because there are books like the second book I liked in the series like the one I was talking about before. So I don't know what I should do and the Ashley Flowers thriller like, comes out tomorrow and I really wanna read that. So part of me is like, I could just download a Colleen Hoover book tonight, the one of the last two and read, it in, and read the whole thing in an entire in a night because I can do that and like read the whole thing in a night, which I do like pretty frequently, honestly, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just download the sample. Anyways, these loops face masks, like there's really nothing like them. All right, I've been getting a lot of work done, but I think the next book I'm going to read is Can't Look Away. Um, okay, so Emily from Helps Reads. I was Helps Reads, it's Help Reads. Margaret's friend, but we would stay to each other, absolutely love her. Anyways, she's actually who's inspired me to even start a bookstagram in the first place which if you guys didn't know i have one here at ke book club all i post are book reviews so it's really a great thing anyways um i think i'm gonna read can't look away i'm gonna at least download it i also am gonna read this book because that's a redhead's pick um i just like reading books that other people are, are have like recently read so you have someone to talk to about it i love things you do in the dark oh wait no actually that's wrong that's not the one i loved i love the flicker in the dark anyways all right i aimed it up just getting really busy on my laptop. Kept that on for so long. Wow. Whew. All right, so really what I need to do is use the apostrophe that's underneath to get like clear my skin tonight. But I have these new products, the Vita C Serum, Hydration Recovery Serum, like these are the things I wanna use. All right, I'm currently about to start Can't Look Away. I need to read the Artist Ways chapter for this week, and I also need to read everything I know about all that stuff with Tully Alderton. So, oh, you know what else? One of y'all recommended this book to me, Quarter Life, The Search for Self in Early Adulthood. I also want to read that. I feel like that would be good for a podcast episode. Oh, guys, I have good news. Okay, so the podcast is now going to five episodes a month instead of four. So we're gonna have a bonus episode. I'm thinking it's gonna be the first week of the month on a Monday, so like the first Monday of the month. I definitely wanna do a lot more solo episodes. I wanna do one all about like the pressure to overachieve. Um, I also wanna do one that's like you're not behind and give examples of people who like started their careers at 40 um, and also just like your life path is different than everyone else's. Just I wanna do almost like topical solo episodes and I'm really excited about it. So. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm gonna go to bed. And I don't want to keep filming, but I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I've been writing a lot of letters recently, <laughs> too. I gotta be honest. You know, I had a lot of bones and a lot of grievances to uh -huh. share then. I got a lot of bones and a lot of grievances to share now. Who are you writing a letter to these days? I had to write one this morning. Oh, God.